Vladimir Fedorovich Markov was born in 1882 to the family of Fedor Grigoriev Markov and his wife Anna Alexandrova in Moscow, where his father from 1866 to 1904 served as a psalmist at the Church of Life Giving Trinity on Shabalovka. In general, in the family there were ten children Vasily, Mikhail, Maria, Grigory, Anna, Peter, Olga, Vera, and Pantalimon. Vladimir Markov followed his father's footsteps and in 1900 finished Donskoy's spiritual college on the second class, while in 1904, after three classes of Moscow spiritual seminary, was appointed a psalmist to the church of the Domitian of Virgin Mary at the Grand Power factory of the village of Ospensko of Bogorodsk County of Moscow province. Vladimir Fedorovich married maiden Olga Yevgrafovna, and by Metropolitan Vladimir was ordained a deacon to the Church of the Icon of Our Lady of the Sign in the village of Yelna of Mozhaisk County of Moscow province. Here, Father Vladimir served for the next seven years. Deacon Vladimir Markov also taught the law of God at Vesokova and Lipova Zemstvo schools of Mozhaisk County. In 1905, son Sergei was born to a young family of the clergyman. In 1907, Alexander. On the 8th of June 1911, Arseny. In 1917, Seraphim. In 1920, Andrei. While in 1925, Alexei. On the 7th of August 1915, Father Vladimir was transferred to the Church of the Life Giving Trinity of the village of Kamenki of Bogorodsk County of Moscow province. From 1916, Deacon Vladimir temporarily worked as a teacher at Kamenka Parish School. Here, the clergyman faced the revolution, being deprived of voting rights after it. In 1918, by Archbishop Joseph, Deacon Vladimir Markov was appointed to the Church of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross of Christ at Moscow Alexei Female Monastery, while two years later, by Metropolitan Yevsevi, was ordained a priest to the Church of the Icon of Our Lady of the Sign in the village of Yelna of Moraisk County of Moscow province. In 1921, by Innocent, the Bishop of Mozhaisk, priest Vladimir Markov was appointed to the Church of the Intercession of Virgin Mary of the village of Alexina of Ruza County of Moscow province as the second priest. In 1922, the priest was awarded with a waist clothes. In the list of the clergymen of Mozhaisk Vicar Diocese in 1923-1925, Father Vladimir was already mentioned as a deacon of the Church of the Intercession of Virgin Mary of the village of Alexina of Ruza County of Moscow province. Here, Father Vladimir served with Archpriest Konstantin Nekrasov, Deacon Semyon Znamensky, and Deacon Peter Kostunin, who was listed as a psalmist. On the 22nd of October 1929, Along with his wife, Olga Yugrafovna, Father Vladimir was arrested by the UGPU for agitation against grain deliveries. The members of the Church Council, 70-year-old preposter Ivan Yakovlevich Milukov and 32-year-old shoemaker Grigory Mikhailovich Chunarev, also were involved in the case. At the moment of the arrest, six children from the age of 4 to the age of 24 were in the family of the Markovs. Earlier in May 1929, the brother of the priest, Deacon Vasily, was also arrested, while later, on the 3rd of February 1930, his another brother, priest Mikhail, was also arrested. Both brothers were sentenced to exile. In the materials of the archive investigation case, it was pointed out that the parish included Alexina, Lishikova and 14 other villages due to the fact that some citizens of the parish were united and a group of zealous churchmen, mainly from old ladies and men, was created, the clergyman began to agitate among the latter, trying to antagonize all the events of the Soviet authorities and Communist Party, especially trying to lessen the oppression of Kulaks and other substantial villages, as well as cultural and educational events. The main point for them was that Soviet authorities eliminated teaching the law of God at schools, introducing games and dancing instead, and organizing pioneer and atheist groups. An informer pointed out that could say nothing about the activity of Pope Nikrasov, Psalmist Kostunin, and Deacon Znamensky in this sphere, adding, possibly they also take part in the agitation among the population, especially women. Almost every time 
they gather in Markov's house. Father Vladimir was accused of using his wife in agitation among the population against the events of the Soviet authorities. From the 20th of October, the indicted were imprisoned in Mozhaisk, later being sent to Butyrka prison. According to the reference from Mozhaisk prison, dated January 1930, the 47-year-old clergyman had neurasthenia and lung fever. The investigation was shot less than a month later after the arrest on the 18th of November 1929, according to the 58th article, paragraph 10 of the Criminal Code of Russia, a special meeting of the OGPU of Moscow region sentenced Deacon Vladimir to three years of imprisonment in a concentration camp, while Mother Olga was exiled for the same term to the town of Ahangrsk. In the letter of Mother Olga, dated the 28th of September 1930, it was mentioned that according to the information she had, her husband, being heart-stricken, did not come through his sentence and passed away. On the 4th of August 1932, when the term of the imprisonment in the town of Ahangrsk ended, Olga Yevgrahovna Makova was released. In October 1988, priest Vladimir Fedorovich Markov and his wife Olga Yevgrahovna were rehabilitated by the prosecutor's office of Moscow for the lack of the body of a crime. On the 22nd of February 2001, the brother of priest Vladimir, priest Mikhail Markov, who died in the exile, was canonized as a new martyr and confessor of Russia.